Roy, how you doing, man? Tyler nice. Jacobs. Nice to meet you, man. Pleasure to have you here Thank at Michael you. Jordan Steakhouse. I know you are a big MJ fan. I see oh, yeah. you come ready in no your doubt, MJ man. gear. MJ Steakhouse, gotta have <laughs> some MJ gear when you're coming in here, man. Oh, I think the uh, chefs and the, uh, the the service here are gonna like the fact that you came ready yeah. in your MJ. So, hope you had a light breakfast. Oh yeah, no doubt. I think doubt. they're gonna feed us well. Let's For get sure. down in the kitchen, find out how they do this Let's magic go. here, right? Ready for this, Roy? This is okay. the porterhouse, right? This is the porterhouse. What's important, first thing we gotta look, we got the right cut. Right. It's the right thickness. Now we gotta worry about the seasoning. There we, go. we season with two things on our steaks. Kosher salt. We use that because it's got a real nice thick crystal. You can really tell how much you're putting on a steak. And then we crack black pepper each day that we put on here freshly ground. Now, I think a lot of people would say, damn, that was a lot of salt, but when you have a piece of meat this big. You got a big piece of meat, so it's gonna need to be seasoning. You're also gonna lose a little bit of seasoning when you go onto your grill anytime. Right, right. You'll notice we use a seasoning rack here, so we don't get any caked on or crusted on salt and pepper. We're not really looking to pack it in, I'm just looking to season the meat. And sure. then, over here, we got our infrared broiler. What's the uh, temperature at on this? 1,200 degrees. 1,200 degrees. Your, your, your gas grill at home ain't getting to 1,200 degrees. A nice thick steak like this is going to take probably about 30 minutes wow. to get cooked. How do you like your meat cooked? Uh, definitely medium char. Medium char? All right, we're going to make that happen. I know it's a steakhouse, but the showstopper at Michael Jordan's is a 23-layer chocolate cake. Walk us through how this beauty is made. It's a two-day process of wow. layering layers of moist chocolate cake, chocolate ganache, and then top it with a silky chocolate ganache. We're gonna cut one of these right now. I got it. We gotta get a video of this as well for the gram, you know. That's my piece, right? <laughs> this is all yours, man. We're gonna put some whipped cream, a little piece of almond chocolate bark. Wow. And then right before it goes off, we get out the blowtorch. Now this is this is the money and shot. Just Make sure we get that. Make it look beautiful. Get the Glazes chocolate. it up a little bit. I've never seen anybody knock out one of the porterhouses and then one of these. Uh oh. Sounds and like a challenge. There's your lucky day. <laughs> Sounds like a challenge for you. And Roy. if you're sitting down with MJ, he's gonna order this cake for you, but he doesn't eat any of it. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't go sweets. He doesn't mess with sweets. All right, time to sit down at the booth. This is where MJ eats his food. And they were kind enough to let us sit down here, Roy. When I look at this Bears team, I think the expectations should be set higher than maybe a lot of people are going to think based on last year's record. Right. I, de I, I look at our team, man, I definitely think we can be something special. Um, you know, being, being on the team, you can't make predictions and right, things like that. Right. But it's all about grinding, man, taking a game at a time when that time comes. You know, te teams are going to see that we put in the work to, to be one of the best teams in the league. Do you feel based on you know your short time in Chicago and now going to a new head coach and a little bit of a new coaching staff. Is there, a, can you feel a culture change? Can you feel kind of an excitement at least to, to have something new, some new concepts yep. in, in, uh, the, in the locker room? We're definitely excited. Uh, we're starting off with Green Bay, which is that's the, game, that's the game of the year every year. <laughs> uh, we're definitely excited about that. But, you know, I tell, I tell everyone, it's like, you know, it's a day at a time. You're not, you're not thinking that far ahead. You're thinking a day at a time just putting in that work so when time does come, you're ready to go. Um, but we're definitely ready to compete in this division. Um, great teams, obviously, right. but we're ready to, to be one of those great teams. What is uh, Coach Nagy like? Is he, uh, is a, he, is he a, a great, player's guy? Is he a yeller? Is he's he, what's a, he like? He's a real good guy. He's not a yeller. He's a, hey, do what you got to do, and I'm going to leave you to it. He doesn't scream, doesn't yell. He's not all that. He's not a right. rah-rah guy. He tells you what you need to hear and then he lets you do it. He's a, he's a great coach so far. I think he's gonna continue to be a great coach as he's coaching us. And a lot, I think, what, how people judge him is how he gets, if he gets the most out of Mitchell Trubisky. The quarterback is obviously in any football franchise, that's the one. You have one who can win, you're gonna be a good team. The development you've seen just from year one to two, isn't that usually the biggest jump for football yep. players, rookie year yep. to second year? Well, yes, sir. this is year two for Mitchell. What are you expecting and what are you seeing so far in the offseason? Mitch, so far I've seen he's a great leader. He leads that offense as if he's done it for many years. Mm -hmm. uh, being a young guy, I love seeing him lead that team. Right. Um, he's leading the offense. He, 
I can't say leader in the defense, but he's a he's a great team leader. Um, definitely, um, definitely going to be a great guy this year. He's He's our he's our quarterback. He's, quarterback, he's our quarterback. As T.O. said. Yes, sir. That's my quarterback that's, yeah, right that's, there. <laughs> hey, Mitch, is, that's my quarterback. Well, our guy now is the chef because he's bringing hey, out the porterhouse. Hey, there we go. Look at this. Are this you looks a me? lot bigger than the last time I was here. So it's usually the porterhouse for two. There we go. This might be just for you. <laughs> uh, Thirty-six ounces of dry aged yes, sir. prime beef. Yes, sir. I mean, and then, come to a steak house, you got to ask some sides. Go. The trio of mashed potatoes. Yes, sir. The candied. Hazelnuts and that one's all you. Sweet potato, sweet potato guy. King crab and then Ooh. roasted gar garlic with grana padano cheese. Oh my goodness, I gotta get the phone out real quick. But it's time for the first bite. I mean, Let's we gotta, go. we've been waiting too long for this, so I'm gonna get some crab, get the taters. Mm. We don't need no to go boxes today. Mm. I was, you know, 240 in college. Um, I think Robert Quinn was. Yeah, he, two, he was. He was light. Two sixty. Yeah, that's at, at the his very highest most, in, yeah. in the NFL. He yeah. was a 260, 260. He relied yep. on that speed and that bend <clears throat> exactly. around the end edge. And then once Wade Wade Phillips got to the Rams, they moved to that three four yep. after Greg Williams had left. And he had a good year, but you could just tell his his skill set better suited right. for a different front. But you seem to be versatile enough to. You know, oh, that, oh, that's, that's the name of the game. Yeah. It's, with multiple fronts, you got to be yeah. able to you got to be able to do a little bit of everything. Yeah. You know, have the weight to take on blockers, and then have the quickness and the bend to get around the edge. Yeah, I definitely put the weight on and take on the blockers. Um, what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna walk <laughs> out the box anymore and, <laughs> and go to number two. So Coach Fangio's not gonna. I, I, I joke with him a lot and tell him <laughs> if he needs a guy that he still got me. I still remember what I'm supposed to do on a lot of those responsibilities. But uh, this right here is going to do some damage. Or y'all can't record me eating no cake, man, because I'm a, <laughs> I'm gonna be looking like a fat boy, okay? <laughs> All right, chef. One more time. We have here the 23 layer chocolate cake. Layers of moist chocolate cake and chocolate ganache stacked up on top of each other. A little bit of whipped cream and some Marcona almond Ooh. bar. So, so it doesn't topple over on you. We'll serve this one. Boom. Ooh. Hold we'll on, this. With a little piece. We're gonna slide okay, this slide this way, this and we'll split this up. This is the there this is go. now the star of the show here. I mean, this is this is typical. Thank you very much, Chef. All right, here we go. First bite. nothing but you just get that chocolate flavor you get that rich you make your mouth all chocolate and he, and he just, said you know how mm. the, the cake is moist you got the ganache in there it's like they filled up a cake pan with the chocolate river from oh. Willy Wonka and then just threw it in the <laughs> oven <laughs> the chocolate river <laughs> 